I am going to show you how to change the colors in a Hazy Skies Designs template. Most design elements will have a solid color fill layer above them in the layers palette right here. To change the color of an element, simply click on the colored box and a box will open. You can select any colors within the box. You can also change to green. We can select from different blues. And you can play around and get the color of your choice. We can also use the dropper tool to extract a color from our image if we want to color match the template to our photo. So I'm going to go ahead and extract the red right here from the necklace and click OK. Now I'm going to change the color of the arrow. So again, a double click on the color fill box. And I'm going to use a dropper tool to extract the color from the headband. I'll click OK. Now, if a layer does not have a color fill box attached to it, there are a couple of ways to change the color of the element or the text layer. I'm going to show you the color overlay method. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the FX button, which is the effect button down here. And this is to add an effect to a layer. And we are going to go ahead and select color overlay. And it's going to bring up the layer style box. And by default, it's going to be red. So it's changed our font to red by default. And we're going to go ahead and click on that red rectangle. And again, we are going to open this uh, color picker box. And same with the color fill box, uh, we can go ahead and use the dropper tool to extract the color from an element. So this is using the color overlay method. So go ahead and click OK. And here it's going to show the effect that we added to the layer, which was the color overlay. Now, if a layer already has this color overlay effect attached to it, to change the color, you can go ahead and just double click on the color overlay right here. And again, it's going to bring up the box. This time, it's not going to be red by default because we've already changed the color to black. And um, again, we can play with the different colors and we can extract colors from the template. So we'll go ahead and choose a dark red one for this and click OK. And uh, those are the different ways to change the colors of an element in Photoshop using a Hazy Skies Designs template.